here it is, all laid out and ready to go. This is the relative calm before the judging storm begins. So laid out here, we've got over 5,000 cheeses and other dairy products. Um, can you see where it says retail marquee at the end? That's like an extra cold room, so that's where your blue cheeses go and your really, really soft cheeses. There's loads of aircon in here today, I'm really pleased. And so it's not all uh, cheese at the Cheese Awards, there are other dairy products as well. And uh, I'm actually starting on the retail categories, according to my list, and look at this. That's going to be interesting, or I have to try that. Taste, <laughs> taste of things to come. Oh, I did farmhouse cheddars last year. This is a really clear example of how judging works. So this category here, I can see was Red Leicester. It wasn't one of mine. And if you look down, all those blocks of Red Leicester, they all look pretty similar. Um, there's a slight difference in colour in some of them. But the judges have to differentiate. They take a core, they'll all just try it, and you're not just trying the taste. You're looking at the texture, you're looking at how well uh, it comes out, um, you're smelling it. I think smells really important. I've sniffed about 100 cheeses today. And this is the aftermath of cheese judging. Um, pretty much every category is done now, that's why there's not many judges hanging around this table. They've all got either a slice or um, a core taken out of them. And there's a, an ace squad of stewards who are going around and taping everything up and tidying up, ready for when it opens to the general public tomorrow.